Good morning, Internet. Justin Fader here, off the bookshelf Twilight. Okay, so, current events, you can go to when I talk about them, but, you know, here and there I feel the need to talk anyway. So, Internet, do you like sex? I'm guessing that some of you do, since, pretty dependably, uh, pornography finds its way to the top five on most polls. Usually right behind listening to music and shopping at eBay. Or sometimes they're around, you know, first you go to eBay, you buy your two-headed dildo, and then you listen to, I don't know, me first and the gimme gimmies while waiting for your porn to arrive. Or maybe your porn gets there first and then you decide to, it doesn't matter. The point remains the same. Well... I think that most people probably do enjoy it, and that's probably why one fairly influential Japanese businessman, not him, decided that it would be a good idea to try to curb violence in his district by asking, apparently, sex workers to offer their services to members of the armed forces at a discounted price and, in fact, encourage um, soldiers coming from overseas to partake in their services. I know I said word service twice, but I couldn't come up with a better euphemism. Sorry. I should be better at this. I'm a professional author, for God's sake. Well, to me, this sounds like a fantastic idea. Cheap drugs, cheap sex. What's not to like? Well, apparently the international community found this to be less than thrilling, according to the BBC. It appears that there was some level of outrage from the international community, and our Japanese businessman, not him, became somewhat offended, and who wouldn't? This was probably poorly translated, but apparently what he had said is, I don't understand what the problem is. Sex is only disliked in America. I don't dislike sex. Anyway, so, this little remark resulted in even more criticism to said businessman. And so that businessman was then forced to revoke his previous statement and apologize for offering sexual services to members of the armed forces. Now, where does this come from? Why would this have happened? Well, if a billionaire computer genius thought that one of the big causes of crime in his neighborhood was drunk sailors having sex with everything that has a hole, maybe he can reduce the number of people sticking their penis into his doorknob by offering to buy them prostitutes. Doesn't sound unreasonable, actually. And no, maybe there were women doing the same thing. I have no idea. Maybe there was someone grinding up against his mailbox. Who fucking cares, right? So, what sort of country are we living in? What sort of world are we living in? Where at 16 years old. Well, depending on where you're living, between 16 and 18 years old, you can trade away your life for a nice hat and a gun 
but you can't take the green you receive for doing this and trade it for something that you want. Sorry, I got nothing. That's it. That's all I have to say. This just seems odd to me. I think we should have been celebrating this guy and possibly following up on his business models. Anyway, I'm going to call it quits there. Thank you, Internet. Have a good day.